Hi children, welcome you all to today's English lesson. Our lesson is Grade 10, Unit 7, Describing Bar Graphs. So, at the end of the lesson, you will be able to describe a bar graph. First, we'll see the vocabulary used in vertical axis, horizontal axis, the highest, the lowest, the most popular, the least popular, maximum, minimum, majority, minority, equal, higher than, and lower than. Let's have a look at this bar graph. The title of the graph is Leisure Time Activities of Students in the Sabaragamu Province. The vertical axis represents the number of students. The horizontal axis represents the leisure time activities. Now, let's see how to describe a bar graph. You can start your description like this. This bar graph shows. This bar graph illustrates. This bar graph represents. This bar graph depicts. This bar graph gives information about. Using these phrases, you can make a sentence like this. Look at the example. This bar graph represents the leisure activities of some students in the Sabaragamu province. Let's see how to describe axis. The vertical axis represents number of students. The horizontal axis represents the leisure time activities. Now you can see we have connected two sentences. The vertical axis represents the number of students while the horizontal axis represents the leisure time activities. The highest, the lowest, the most popular and the least popular. Remember, when we use these words, we should definitely use the definite article the as they are superlative adjectives. Let's look at the examples. The highest number of students like watching television. The lowest number of students like gardening. The most popular leisure time activity is watching television. The least popular leisure time activity is gardening. Okay, we'll add some more sentences to our description. Maximum, minimum, majority and minority. Maximum number of students engage in watching television. Minimum number of students engage in gardening. Majority of the students like watching television as their leisure time activity. Minority of the students engage in gardening. Here you can see higher than, lower than, more popular than, 
and less popular than. These are comparative forms of adjectives. We use these words to compare the bars in bar graph. Let's see some examples. The number of students like watching television is higher than the number of students like reading books. The number of students like gardening is lower than the number of students like cycling. Listening to songs is more popular than cycling. Gardening is less popular than reading books. Let's move on. Equal. Equal means the same level or number or percentage. Let's look at an example. An equal number of students like listening to songs and collecting stamps. Now we came to the last sentence of our description. You can use these phrases to your last sentence. According to the graph, it is clear that. According to the graph, it is evident that. Now let's make a sentence. According to the graph, it is clear that the most popular leisure time activity is watching television. Now you know the phrases that can be used to describe bar graphs. Now describe this graph using the learned phrases.